Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video showing you how to make a birdhouse using uh, one sheet of plywood and kind of nails and just cheap resources that you have around. This is the end result of what it'll look like. So basically it'll be a birdhouse where uh, there's one hole in the front and then all the sides and the bottom are strapped together using screws. And then there's going to be a top hole um, at the top that you'll actually screw directly into the tree. And so um, that's kind of the end result. I decided to do this kind of on the fly yesterday because there's a wide variety of birds behind my apartment complex and I thought hanging a couple of these back there might help them out uh, during the spring, summer, and winter time period. Um, so this is what it looks like as far as the end result. Um, as far as what you'll need, you'll need a hammer, okay? You'll need finishing nails. These are just ones that I had around which are one and a half inches. Um, they're these thinner nails. You don't want anything too thick because it might split the wood. Um, you'll need a half inch bit. Um, this will use to actually screw or drill holes in the bottom for drainage so that water doesn't accumulate in the bottom of this. Um, then you'll need something to hang into the tree. So I have three inch nails that I have left over from uh, a different project. And this is what I'll use to hang into the tree. Um, and in order to hang that, I have to screw or drill one hole at the top of this um, this birdhouse right there to hang uh, it, it using this drill bit. So that's one. And then you'll need a one and a half inch or one, it's basically one and three quarter, or sorry, one and a quarter or one and a half inches, depending on the size of the bird um, entryway uh, for drilling the front portion here. Um, one thing I did want to note is there's going to be a separate piece that you're going to cut and strap to the front. Um, this is actually to protect the birds um, and the eggs from predators. So this actually uh, increases the entryway distance so that predators cannot get into the, the actual uh, birdhouse. Um, so that's everything you need there. Um, then you'll need pieces of wood, obviously. Um, and so these, I believe, I think it's, um, let me see if it has it on the side, but I think they're, uh, I think like uh, eight inch by um, four foot um, sheets of uh like white wood. I got these from Lowe's for about $10 each. So I bought five of these um, to put together like four or five bird houses. Um, so what you'll do is you'll measure out um, on each of these, there's gonna be a measurement for the back. It's gonna be 11 inches as far as this length. Okay, next for the, uh, the roof, it's gonna be uh, eight and a quarter inches. And then next is gonna be the front, which is gonna be eight inches. There's gonna be a side, which is gonna be eight inches. And then the other side, which is gonna be seven and three quarter inches. And then the bottom, which is gonna be four inches. So I basically measured this out for all these. Um, it'll be pretty straightforward. So then you'll cut it, okay? As far as cutting it, um, just some typical miter saw is all you'll need. So what, what we'll do is I'll cut these up and then I'll show you putting this together one by okay, one. So here's all the wood cut up. So I got a total of six um, sets of bird houses out of all the scraps and everything measured up. Up. and then I do have a little bit left over that we'll use for that front piece that we'll attach. Um, next up, what we'll do is we'll actually take the front piece, so the one, which make sure you label these as you go, um, but for the first, uh, for the next step, what we're gonna do is take the front piece of all these, and then we're gonna use the one and uh, a half inch uh, drill bit to uh, create an entryway in the kind of central portion of this. Um, just be careful with this drill bit. It does spin a little bit, so you have to just be very careful, um, but drill through for each one of these for the front entrance, and um, you'll have an entryway in the front of the-, the so This birds. is what I mean. So using that drill bit, you're just gonna drill one hole in the center portion here for the entryway, and you're gonna do that for each of the front pieces. All right, so now that I have the entryways done for each of the bird houses, next up, we're gonna drill drainage holes into the bottom. And so what we'll do is we'll take a half inch drill bit and drill um, five separate holes, one, two, three, four, five, um, just like you see in this picture here. And so that's just gonna be drainage for the bottom. And once you drill that, then we can start putting it Here's together. what the bottoms look like. So I did all that for each of the birdhouses. And so now we'll put it together. This part's gonna be hard to show on video, um, but what you'll do is you'll start putting this together. So first you'll prep six nails on the front um, of the birdhouse, and then you're gonna drill these or hammer these into one of the sides. Um, so we'll do that now. So we'll hammer it into one of the sides. So this is what it looks like. You'll attach one side. Um, make sure that the face of the, um, 
the front is flush with the side, otherwise it won't fit right. But that's what it'll look like, so you'll attach it like that. Okay. Next up, what you're gonna do is attach the bottom. And so what you'll do is you'll nail two separate nails on the side piece, not the front piece, and hammer it into the bottom piece like this. Um, if I find it's a little bit easy to use a separate piece of wood on the bottom just to support this, that aligns appropriately. Um, so that's what you'll do in this step. So this is what it looks like after you attach the bottom. So you've got the side, the front, and the bottom together. Next up, what you'll do is you'll do similarly, you'll line up the side and attach it to both the front and the bottom um, as well. For this step, what you're gonna do is hammer in the nails that you had in the front into the side to start. Um, please note for, for this one, this is gonna be the shorter side. Um, so you'll notice that one of the sides is gonna be shorter. And what you wanna do is leave that gap at the top, which will act as ventilation. Um, so you want it to be flush at the bottom here for the shorter side. Um, the other side, you don't have to worry about because it was eight inches long, but this one's seven and three quarters. So it'll be a little bit shorter. So you really want it to be flush on this side, but you'll just hammer this in. So this is what it will look like after that step. So both sides, the front and the bottom are on. Um, then what you'll do is you'll take two nails and again hammer um, the side that you just had into the bottom so it aligns on the bottom. Okay, so this is what I did right here. So I took one, two nails, drove those from the shorter side into the bottom so everything's snug and secure. Next up, what we'll do is we'll strap the back part, which is this longer piece, to the back here. And so what you'll do is just line it up, okay? And then and you can just throw some nails one two three one two three on this um, so the back is strapped to the rest of the birdhouse that's what i did i nailed six separate nails into this so that everything is secure to the back and this is what it looks like at this point okay next you're going to take the roof piece which is this piece and then you're just basically going to nail it to the top here so that it's on the top of the birdhouse okay so i secured it to the t the roof to the rest of it by one two three and four nails there so everything's sturdy this is what it looks like okay everything's snug secure um, there is a little gap on the one shorter side that provides ventilation um, on the one side and lastly what we're going to do is we're going to strap a piece of wood to the front here um, this is going to be just a separate piece of scrap wood that you'll drill a hole through and cut to size and then what you're going to do is just align this so that the entryway aligns so the bird can can actually fit in the entryway and this actually provides protection um, pr to prevent predators from reaching inside here um, so it's something that I noticed and then you can nail this to the front um, using the same nails um, a total of four in one two three four so that's what I mean so I nailed four separate nails in here lined up the entryway so it lines up there so the bird can actually access it and that's everything as far as actually setting it up as far as that the last thing what you'll do is you'll drill a hole into the top here so you can drill it into the tree uh, that'll depend on the size of whatever um uh drill or a screw you're going to be using i'm going to be using three inch screws so i'll just drill a hole right here and that's how you'll secure it to the actual tree um, but that's every step for involved in making these i'm not going to walk through the other ones but this is an easy way to make um, six seven different bird houses that you can hang up and give to other people and things like that it's not the prettiest it's not the most sightly thing you can paint these if you want um, as far as painting though please choose neutral colors so brown green um grays uh, those are what they recommend for bird houses or nesting boxes the reason being that bright colors although they're aesthetically pleasing to humans um, do increase the risk of predators noticing the birds so it's better to keep it neutral color if you want to do that um, but this is a quick easy way to make a birdhouse this was about ten dollars worth of material um, and it provides some good to the birds um, and the overall environment as well so thanks for watching if you have questions comments post them below but this is how to make a birdhouse hope you liked it and as always please subscribe to my channel